Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to another lesson with Master Everyday English. If you come to the United States and you stay in a big city, you'll travel with the bus or the train. But if you are anywhere outside of those big cities, you will need to travel by car. I remember when I first came to the United States, I found driving around a little scary because the rules and the signs are a little different in the United States. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you some of the signs that were difficult for me to understand when I first arrived here in the United States and also a few of the rules that are really important to know if you're driving. Yield. Now what this sign means is that if you are driving and you want to go on to another road and there are cars coming, is you need to slow down or stop before you go on to let those cars go past. But here's a tip. Like from my experience driving in the United States, not everybody yields. That means not everybody slows down or stops. So just be careful if you see that sign and there are cars in front of you or behind you because they might not stop. No right on red. So basically anytime you arrive at a traffic light and there's a right turn, it's okay if it's red to turn right. But if you see this sign, no right on red, it basically means you have to stop for the red light until it changes green and then you can turn right. The no symbol. Anytime you see this circle, with a red line through it, it means that you're not allowed to do that thing. No U-turn. That no U-turn sign basically means that you want to turn around, you want to change direction. In the United States, you will see people making U-turns where it says no U-turn. Wrong way. If you see a sign that says wrong way, of course it means you're going in the wrong direction. And that might seem obvious, but a lot of the time in the United States, you'll have a lot of streets all coming together, especially if you're on a highway near a big city. There are lots of different streets. It can get very confusing and it's very easy to find yourself going the wrong way on a street. The best thing to do is, if you can, reverse or pull to the side and try to turn around and go back the right way. Four-way stop or always stop. And this was one of the most confusing things for me when I first arrived in the United States. If you have two roads and they cross each other, and there are no traffic lights, you'll have stop signs. And so because there are two streets crossing each other, you have four stops. Now this is very confusing because when you get there and there are other cars, who goes first? The general rule is the first person to arrive at the stop sign is the first person to go. So if I arrive at the stop sign and I'm the first car, then I go. If I arrive at the stop sign and there's already a car there, then that person goes first. If I arrive at the stop sign and there are two other cars, then those two cars go first. Reduction of lanes. Now this is a sign that still gets me sometimes because when you look at the sign, it looks like the road is going to narrow. But actually what this sign means is that one of the lanes is going to stop. So those two lanes are going to come together and they're going to make just one lane. Keep right. Again, this is another sign. When I first saw it, I thought it meant 
that maybe there was a tunnel coming up. And in Florida, you don't see a lot of tunnels. But what this is actually saying is that there is some kind of barrier or divide and that you have to stay on the right side of that divide or barrier. Divided highway. And this is the same thing. It looks like there's a tunnel and you have to be careful of the tunnel, but actually what it means is that you're going onto a highway, but there is a barrier in the middle of the highway, a solid, maybe concrete or a metal barrier between the two sides of the road. There you go. From my experience, some of the common signs that maybe you don't know but you really need to know if you're driving in the United States. So let's just quickly review them. Yield. No right on red. The no symbol. No U-turn. Wrong way. Four way or all way stop. Reduction of lanes. Keep right, divided highway. Let's do a little quiz now, just to practice and make sure we understand what those signs mean. I'll show you two pictures on the screen. I'm going to describe one of the pictures. Do you know which picture I'm describing? This sign means you cannot turn around. This sign means everyone must stop. This sign means you must stay on the right side of the barrier or the divider. This sign means the right lane is ending. This sign means you must slow down or stop before you join the next lane. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the video, please check out my channel, Master Everyday English. There are lots of other videos all about life and work in the United States. When I first arrived in the United States, another problem that I had was the lights, the traffic lights, uh, generally just the lights on the streets. They're kind of difficult to understand. Let me just explain to you some of the things that are important to know about the lights you'll see when you're driving. Red light. Well, like in most other countries, the red light means stop. So if you're at a traffic light and there's a red light, it means stop. But don't forget, if you're at a red light and you want to turn right, that's okay, so long as you stop at the light and then indicate that you're turning. Also, if you are on a one-way street, that means there are no cars coming in the opposite direction and you are turning onto another one-way street going the same direction, if there's a red light, you can go through the red light. So long as you're on a one-way street and you're going onto another one-way street in the same direction. A red light with a green arrow. If you're waiting at a traffic light and it's red, but then a green arrow appears, that means that you cannot go straight, but you can go in the direction of the arrow. So if there is a green arrow and it's facing to the right, you can turn right. A green arrow to the left, you can turn left. 
but normally you cannot go straight until that main red light changes to green. A flashing yellow light. Now you might see a lot of this. It basically means you don't have to stop, but you have to be careful because maybe there is other traffic coming onto the road. Um, it might be that it's a, a school area, so there could be children. Uh, maybe it's a construction zone. Uh, basically, it means to drive carefully or to drive slower. Here are a few more things that you'll find on roads in the United States that might be a little different to where you're from. School buses. The famous American yellow school bus, you'll see these around a lot, especially in sort of residential areas. And it's important to know that when the bus stops and that, that red stop sign comes out and it's flashing, that you need to stop. You can't go round the bus, you have to stop and wait for the bus to continue. Fire trucks, ambulances, and police cars. Now, if there's some kind of emergency and there's a fire truck coming or an ambulance, it's important that you stop if you're at a traffic light uh, or if you're driving that you try and move to the right hand side of the street. Special zones. Well, like we said, the, the school zone or the construction zone, they'll normally have like the flashing yellow light that'll tell you you're going into that zone. But be careful because there is normally a different speed limit, a lot slower. So for example, in a school zone, it's normally around 15 miles per hour. Overtaking and undertaking. Now, if you're on a highway or a larger road uh, with more than one lane, Many times people will try to overtake. That means they want to go past you because they want to go faster. Now, normally this will happen on the left-hand side. So if you're in the middle, they'll go past on the left-hand side. But be careful because many people, and I'm speaking about Florida, maybe it's true in other places as well, but in Florida, many times people will undertake. That means that they will try to get past you if you're in the middle lane or if you're in the left-hand lane. They'll try to get past you on the right side of your car. Just be careful if you're driving on a highway or on a street with multiple lanes because people will overtake and undertake. That's it for today. I hope this is useful for you if you're coming to the United States and you're going to be driving in the United States. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and click to subscribe.